we're here at CES 2010 in the Intel uh, Media Showcase Room for Core i5. And what we're showing here is a very cool new Media Center PC from Nivius Media as part of your home theater media stack, um, which uh, uses a Media Center interface. Uh, this is the machine down here. Uh, very high-end media server machine, uh, completely fanless. Um, and generally has required uh, very expensive uh, graphics, video and audio uh, computing solutions in order to deliver the type of experience that Nivius tries to deliver to its, to its uh, market. Uh, with the new Core i5 media capabilities, Nivius Media has been able to design out all of the extra video cards uh, and use all of the video in the Intel HD graphics right inside Core i5. I'm going to show you a demo here of a Blu-ray playback uh, using uh, you know, the 10-foot user interface. So I'm just remoting right here. Uh, and ArcSoft's Total Media Theater solution, which has been optimized for Intel HD graphics with the Core i5 processor. And as we bring up the demo, um, we're actually, uh, as you can see, we're showing some statistics here about the bit rate of the demo. Uh, it's 1080p. Um, and uh, right now, you see the sound shows up as Dolby Digital. And that's, as it, that's because the trailers themselves are not necessarily encoded in the highest uh, audio bit rates. But what I'll show you as we get into the movie itself, that uh, we have a really exciting new feature with the Core i5 media capabilities, uh, where we can play back uh, lossless bit streaming audio uh, for like DTS HD Master Audio and Dolby True HD in pass-through mode. So you can get all of the features uh, that are on the new Blu-ray discs as they were meant to be heard, all with the built-in Intel HD graphics and the Core i5 processor. So you see now that we've started the movie, uh, it's Dolby True HD pass-through mode. Uh, this is an uh, incredible feature, uh, which for Nivius Media and their high-end customers, uh, was a key thing that they needed in order to make the switch from high-end video cards back to using our built-in Intel HD graphics on Core i5.